A severe winter storm or bomb cyclone has seized large parts of the United States and Canada, engulfing them in snow and rain. Images out of the affected area are seen straight out of apocalyptic movies. And in the near future, such events may become more common with global temperatures rising at a constant rate. The bomb cyclone is a mid-latitude storm fueled by the interaction of cold Arctic air and warm air over the subtropical regions. The storm named Iliot has taken the lives of more than 50 people and affected around 250 million people across the US and Canada. Storm Iliot has caused uh, record levels of snowfall, rainfall, strong winds in many regions all across the United States, right from the border with Canada up to the border with Mexico. That is an expanse of more than 3,000 kilometers. According to a private weather company, five days ago, Buffalo City in New York State recorded some 565 millimeters of, rain, of snowfall. This was double the previous record daily snowfall of 320 millimeters in 1976. And that's not all. More trouble accompanying the snow. The city also recorded 50.2 millimeters of rainfall, the highest daily rainfall in Buffalo in 144 years, as the previous record stood at 43.9 millimeters in 1878. With the global temperature rising at a constant rate, the rare phenomenon of bomb cyclones will become more constant and the records which stood for years will be broken more frequently. But you must be wondering if the planet is supposed to be getting warmer, then why is North America facing the cold Arctic breeze? According to experts, as average global temperatures are rising, winter temperatures are increasing at a slower rate than expected. One explanation for this discrepancy is that warming in the Arctic has disrupted the movement of air around the North Pole. Usually, cold air in the Arctic is contained within the Arctic Circle by a ring of fast-moving air that circles the North Pole called the stratospheric polar vortex. And as the global temperatures rise in the Arctic, this vortex is becoming unstable. Due to that, the cold air, which was usually confined to the Arctic, tends to expand southward to the mid-latitudes. And miles below the stratospheric uh, polar vortex, or less than 10 miles above the surface. A narrow band of strong wind, called the polar jet stream, follows the boundary between these hot and cold winds. So any disruption to the polar vortex translates down through the layers of the atmosphere and the jet stream tends to follow the polar vortex that brings in the cold freezing Arctic winds to other parts of the region. Moreover, the destabilization of the polar vortex combined with increased evaporation of water from our warming oceans leading to the formation of a storm that we know as a bomb cyclone. So as our planet warms up further due to human emitted greenhouse gases, such events could become much more frequent in the near future. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.